morning. Uh, today we're going to do an instructional video on how to install an observation beehive. My name is Mark. I am the beehive builder for the Bee Cause. And I have my partner over here, Tom. And what do you do, Tom, besides stand there and look good? I manage a lot of the bee colonies in Charleston for the Bee Cause project and I'll be playing the role of the bee advocate in this instructional video. Okay, just uh, so everybody knows, uh, I am a licensed contractor and hopefully anybody that will be installing the beehive will also be a licensed contractor experienced in uh, all phases of carpentry. Anyhow, um, to get started, this is pretty much what the hive is going to look like when you receive it. What I want you to do is kind of give it the once over, maybe even a twice over, just to look at it, make sure it looks like everything is here, everything is in place, nothing's broken, cracked. Um, if something appears to be missing, um, you might want to check the checklist, which, which will be in here. It'll tell you uh, what the contents are and what you're supposed to receive. If uh, something happens to be missing, some of it might be crucial to the install, some of it may not be, and we can, always, we can send you something if you need it. Um, the first thing I think is to make sure that the location that you've chosen is going to be correct. It needs to be south, southeast facing for the entrance. Um, we would like to see it away from air conditioners, any outside um, maybe objectionable areas, places that might get a whole lot of traffic. Um, you may want to try to limit that if you can, if it's at all possible. Getting back to the hive itself, you're going to get it, it's going to look like this. First thing you're going to do is open it up and you've got to take, basically take it apart. This is a 7 16 hex head, there's going to be 10 bolts on here. You don't have to have an impact driver, but whatever tool you have available, get the bolts off. Basically, the hive is going to come packed like this. It's going to look something like this. Hopefully, it's going to look like that after it gets there. There's a couple things you need to do to get the parts out. Pretty simple, though. You're going to need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, whether it's on an impact gun or just a screwdriver. I'm going to take this. This is the entrance tube that you're going to be using later. I'm going to take this entrance tube out. All right, well, we're continuing to unload some of the parts. We're going to take the feeder top, just place it somewhere. This is the B landing porch that will be positioned on the outside of the building. Take that out. We've got a little honeybee helper garden to get y'all started. This is the cover that comes with it. You'll put this on the hive uh, pretty much at all times if you're not viewing the hive. And we've got some literature in here. Nice plaque, indoor plaque. And some instructions. And I think there's a cut list in here of everything that's supposed to be in the, the hive itself when you get it. Got a couple more things to do in here. You gotta kind of unfold this wall mount with your Phillips head. Take out a couple of the screws. Usually it's not that easy, but I'm good, so what do I say? Um, this is what's gonna go on the wall. Pretty simple. The main thing with this is making sure you get it anchored to the wall and you can't, you really can't put too many anchors in it. This is critical that this gets mounted correctly. We've got one more piece of stuff to get out of here. That's your outdoor sign. You're going to put that close to the, uh, the B landing porch.
this, you're probably going to want, you're going to need a helper. So here's my helper. He's going to hold that up there. We're going to position. Now this pipe, this is kind of critical also. What we're going to do is mount this on a, on a mock wall right here. If, if, if you look closely, this is, uh, this is kind of indicative of what your wall is going to be. I don't know how thick it's going to be, whether it's going to be masonry or block, brick, uh, wood frames, metal studs, but this is basically your wall. Whatever your thickness is, you're going to have four inches of pipe on the interior sticking past the wall surface. On the exterior, you're going to have a half inch sticking past the exterior surface. So whatever that measurement comes out to be, that's what you want to cut your pipe. Um, I would recommend leaving maybe an extra inch on the exterior until you get the pipe in, and then you can always cut it off. If you cut it too short initially, then you're probably got to go get another pipe. So four inches here is critical. What you're going to do, take this, stick it in, make sure it goes all the way in. You're going to place this, run it through your hole. And now you've actually got where it's kind of hanging on the wall makes it simple to uh, install it. Now I'm only going to use a couple screws here. You're going to want to use uh, several screws, bolts, whatever you decide you're going to use, depending upon how you're going to anchor it. So we're mounted to the wall. That's pretty much the hard part. The next thing we're going to do is make sure everything's nice and tight, that you're tight up against the wall. I also recommend, if you can, put some adhesive on this wall mount. It's just added insurance. Now this is kind of a mock-up. This is what's going to ultimately happen once the bees are installed. You're going to come back with the hive, and it's it's going to take two people. The hive's going to be kind of heavy. What you want to do, kind of line it up. Make this fitting. It slips in here. What do we get? We drop this here. And there you go. You're in. Obviously, the uh, observation panel will be on here. This protective coating is going to be peeled off, and that'll be done by whoever does the install of the bees. The beekeeper. The beekeeper. That guy. So when installing the base, it's important to um, make sure that it's going to be anchored well enough to support at least 200 pounds. This hive could potentially weigh 200 pounds when it's filled with bees and honey. So that's just a good uh, kind of standard to set when you're installing the base to the actual wall. Yeah, like I said, you can't have too many anchors. I'd rather see too many than not enough. Other than that, like I said, once you put the, the bees in here, you got two people, slap it in, drop it down, and you're ready to observe. Uh, there is a feeder top up here. I don't know if we went over that, did we? Yep. So they know. Anyway, you're going to have a, a jar with this feeder top that's right in there. You may want to mention that. It's best to store this feeder top in the hive. You won't lose it that way. And the bees will tend to want to propolize this screen blocking access to the feeder top. So it's good to just store it in there. It'll prevent them from covering the screen with propolis. Okay, there's a couple other things you need to know and remember. There are two, excuse me, Tom. 
there are a couple doors, slides, that keep the bees from coming in or going out prior to the installation, or if you've ever got to remove the hive, uh, you're going to have to close these up to keep the bees from obviously entering and exiting. One of the slides is up here, you'll see it, they, both, they, they look the same, they're both uh, aluminum plate bent on a 90 degree angle. This is Phillips head screw here. Uh, the hive will come installed with them in the closed position. So what you're going to want to do once you get the bees in, you get everything um, inside the uh, school or wherever it's going to be placed. Make sure everything's nice and tight. All your doors, your panels are closed. You're going to want to take this screw out, undo this slide here. Pretty simple. And then we have one on the other side. There's another one here, but my table is in the way. There's another slide right here that keeps the bees from coming and going in and out of the hive right here. So you just, same thing, unscrew it, pull it out, and that will allow the bees enter and exit. Uh, main thing you want to remember, once the hive is installed for the bees to enter and exit, both slides have to be out. If you've ever got to remove the hive for whatever reason, both slides need to be back in. I would store these in a safe place. I usually just turn them around and screw them to the hive body itself. Uh, that way you don't have any chance of them getting lost. This uh, kind of viewing box here serves a couple of purposes. It's nice to be able to see the bees coming and going, but also if there's any problems, you can see where the bees are entering, exiting, or maybe not entering and exiting. Uh, I wouldn't recommend taking this off once the bees are installed, but um, if push came to shove and you had to do something, you could shut everything off here and um, access it here. Uh, the next step in this process is going to be installing the bee porch, bee landing porch, whatever you want to call it, on the exterior. It's going to fit over the pipe that extends out about a half inch. Like I said, if you leave this a little bit long, you can always trim it back. First thing I do is take some good silicone caulk, get a good bead around the pipe here, and then I'll usually smear some here to keep it kind of weather tight and waterproof. Throw a little bit around here, and just a small bead around this hole here. Get your landing porch up there. Attach it to the side of the building. Uh, your method of attachment might be a little bit different depending upon what the uh, finish is, whether it's masonry, stucco, uh, wood siding. But a couple of screws here with the silicone around, it's going to hold it in place. Once that's up, I'll take a bead of good caulk, get the tops and the sides, both sides, no need to do the bottom. And you're pretty much set here as far as the landing porch. All right, the next step, once you've got the bee landing porch installed on the exterior, the only thing really left is to put your sign up, put it in a convenient location close to the landing porch. If you're lucky, there's a nail right where you want to put your screw. But that's kind of uh, beside the point. The sign's up. And I think that's about it.